Kayla. Okay. I thought you were sleeping. No. You know today is the last day for your bandage to be removed, right? Yeah. Are you excited about it? Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> I'm also very excited. So what I want to do is I want to go home and f freshen up. Clean up the house for your welcome. Oh, why do you have to go home? Is it really necessary? Yeah. I mean, I've been around for the past three days. No shower, no nothing. You know, I'm, I'm smelling and all. You remember your wish? Mm -hmm. That I want to be the first person you see? Yeah, so I need to look good. But I want to see you just as you are. I know, come on. It's not a big deal, just give me like 15, 20 minutes. Maximum. 15. 20. Okay. Okay? 20 minutes maximum, I'll be back. Okay. Stay it. how fast you are healing. Okay. Um, doctor, can you please um, wait for like 15 or 20 minutes because I want CK to be around. I promised him that he'll be the first person I'll see when I take off the bandage, when I get to see. So where is he? Um, he's just gone home to freshen up. So in the next 20, 15 to 20 minutes, he should be here. If I have a flight to catch, I'm traveling. And uh, I need to do that today. Doctor, please. Anyway, I'll give you 25 to 30 minutes so that when he comes, I do my job. All right? Let's take note, huh? All right. Okay. And I'll see you later.
Young man, I warn you. Goodbye. Now, I think it's time for me to bandage your face. Um, doctor, yeah. please, five or ten more minutes. I'm sure he'd be here. No, 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 no. I just can't. As I told you earlier on, I have this flight to catch. I'm traveling, and I need to do this job because no one else can do it. J just get up, sit up, sit up, let's see. Sit up, sit up. Doctor, I... Kela, I... do this for me. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Beautiful. <laughs> i
Your desire was to see how beautiful this world is, and your desire has been fulfilled. So why, why, why this? Why do you want to kill yourself? Doctor, everything is over. What is over? My dear, what is over, tell me? No one knows other sorrow. When you laugh, the whole world laughs with you, but when you cry, I can understand what you're going through. I know this young man was a companion who stood by you during your times in darkness. But it's so unfortunate. Destiny snatched him away from you. It's something I know you can't easily endure, but... Doctor, I don't want to live without him. I can't live without CK. So because CK is dead, you also want to die. It doesn't work that way. My dear, we have times for sorrow. We have times for joy. There is something called yearning. Sometimes we don't yearn at all. You see, now that you have regained your sight, the sight that you have regained, be a light of hope to somebody somewhere someday. Perhaps there is someone out there, another man who cherishes you, who probably wants you, who wants to alleviate you from your darkness. Think, think about it. insignificant act of indiscretion on him.
did it happen? I don't really know. I mean, I've been in such a mess since I met him. I guess it might have been an accident. Oh, dear. Anyway, it's all good. I mean, it's better to us than you. You just said it. The best friend you are talking about. I know. I mean, I'm still left to the fiancé, you know? All we need to do is just mourn a little. Oh, that's true. There's one thing you're going to really need. You know, you no longer have a best man. So, what do we do? Can you be this callous and cold-blooded? I am not callous. Neither am I cold-hearted. I'm just being realistic. Enough morning for the day. I got us some nice French red wine and some nice Chinese steak away. I'm just going to be inside setting up the table. You snap out of this mood and then we gotta go enjoying. You know how it is. Look, I don't like to be kept waiting, you know that. So hurry up, down. Hey, I have to go to bed. You know I don't like being kept to wait. Come on, baby. Yes, you can believe it. Prince and I are. You don't mean it's Nicole. Of course, I mean every word of what you just said. Tell me, I didn't just hear yeah, you say that. Prince just realized that it's high time we took this engagement to a higher level. Oh my! Congratulations, girl. Thank Same. you. I'm so happy for you. What actually made him change his mind? I mean, from where we are coming from, we thought the wedding wasn't going to hold after all. Oh, well, look, it's okay. I'm not blaming you for anything. Neither do I blame anyone else that wants to think about that. It's all Prince's fault. What is it with all these cancellations? It's either he will say, okay, baby, I'm going for some business trip. Oh, okay, baby, it's not the best time of the month. My friends are all going for some holiday trips. I don't blame anyone that would think otherwise. Whatever, baby girl. The most important thing is that you finally fix a date for the wedding. I say to all with whatever anybody has got to say. You can say that again, baby girl. You've not been thinking. And I've been, you know, checking. And I just decided, and I just realized that you're the best candidate for being my maid of honor. Me? Yes, oh, you. Thank you so much. So, sweetheart, you know what? We have to hurry and shut. There is no time. I will. And another thing. I wish you to do me a little favor. What's it? Here are my wedding invitations. Amongst your friends, I don't think I can cope with it. I'm, I'm really tied up. Please, of course not, Nicole. You know I can do anything for you. Oh. I mean, Thanks. what's a friends for? You know, the thing is, I don't want July the 16th to come and I'm still behind schedule. July the 16th? I presume that to be the D day for the wedding. And girl, trust me, it's going to be the biggest wedding you've ever experienced in that craft. Because with all the stocks my parents are planning, trust me girl, you're never going to see anything like that in this town. You know what? I wouldn't miss a wedding for anything in the world. Yeah, I'm going to be there live and direct. I trust you? Trust me. That's just it. I just want the creamiest people in this society to be here. You know how I do my thing. But that's it. Nicole! Nicole! Why are you shouting like that? You don't have to scream down the roof. What is it? What in the places is the meaning of this? Oh. Oh, okay. This is an invitation later. I get to get you, Konyaka. Come on. Just 
a copy of our invitation card. Our invitation card is D. Now what did you mean by going out to print and distribute cards without my consent? What were you thinking? Why are you screwing? What is the big deal, huh? You were not ready to do what you're supposed to do. When I looked at you, I just realized I was in for a long wait, which I wasn't ready for. I decided to do your job for you. You did it for me? Yeah. That did it ever occur to you whilst you were doing all your planning and thinking? That I might not be interested? That I might not be willing to marry you? Hold on a second, now you're joking. No, you are joking. Well, read my lips, my dear. If doing things right will mean getting shackled to you, a non-entity of a woman, well, read my lips, my dear. I am not interested. Okay, this marriage, this your idea of a relationship, this engagement, forcing yourself on me, uh, I don't know that. What are you trying to say? Okay, if you stupidly say that, okay, fine. What happens to my family? My friends are invited. What happens to the long business family relationship we have? And now our parents are waiting and hoping that we do the right thing. What are you going to say to them, huh? Read my lips, dear. This is off. Now get in there and pack your things and get out. You are joking. You are bloody joking. You think you can mess with me? Well, you have something else coming. I invited my friends, my family, my father's business associates. You cannot stand here and tell me that you already to throw everything to the wind. Listen. You have to go around and complete what you started. Do you understand? Be my guest. Go out and spread the gospel. Tell your father and your friends, because I'm sure they'll be sympathizing with me. No man in his right sense would dump a bitch like you on a fellow man. Now get out. You joking. Do you understand? You will finish it. You will finish what you started. You think you're gonna mess with me? It's not possible. Now let me tell you something. People are coming for this wedding. The cream de la cream of this society are coming for this wedding. So you can mess with me. This is over. Now get out. You propose to me, you will end it. You must be joking. God damn. Hey, no, no, no. Hold on a second. What are you talking about? It's your new home. You got it? Your new home. Alright? Now, make yourself comfortable. Kayla. Kayla. I've been told you refused eating all day long and you've been sitting in your room. Is it true? Kayla, come. Come here. Kayla, I've been telling you that memories can be likened to wounds. If you don't allow it to heal, it develops into heart aches. Well, neither does the wound heal, nor can I control this pain. Now, if you consider me as your father, you will have to listen to me. I brought you to Accra so that you can forget your past. But after six months, your plight remains the same. And if you continue like this, you may likely to suffer mental depression. I don't know what to do, Dad. My daughter, God has given you your sight. You can now see beautiful world.
land opportunities all available to you. Dad, I'm still blind to the world. My heart will not even allow me to see anything. Well, Kayla, I don't want to listen to anything. All I want to tell you is, come Saturday weekend, I am taking you out. I want to make you happy. Go and wine and dine. It's a deal. Hmm? It's a deal, isn't it? Sure. Well, I was wondering. I mean, everybody's by the poolside having a drink. What are you doing here? Are you okay? I mean, I could give you a special treat. I'm really sorry, but I'm not in the mood. Well, I feel lonely too, so if you don't mind, we could, we could get along. You know, chat. Pretty girl like this, uh, China as if she's a stranger in this world. And why do you want to know? Well, they say curiosity kills the cat, but I'm human. Curiosity? <laughs> and if I may ask, is your curiosity limited to the question you're asking me, or could there be something else? I don't get you. Crystal clear that uh, you like Ayla more than not. But I'd rather say, presently, Kayla is not your match. Not my match? Yeah. So this is your daughter you're talking about? So you're a young man. Though my very good friend, okay? Kayla has been living in the darkness of sorrow for a long time. She's not a happy girl. She had a man in her life, but... Destiny snatched him away from her. You see? So, presently, her mental state doesn't favor her. You even trust her own self, talk less of trusting another man. So, if I may ask, where is this man of her heart? A friend? <laughs> Sadly, he's dead. Dead? So unfortunate. It's a very long story. And uh, you don't want to know. Because it can't change the situation. I've tried so many times to put some happiness uh, into her life. A smile on her face, but uh, to no avail. It's so unfortunate. And, uh, I wonder what I can do next. So what if I, I'm prepared to help bring some happiness back? It's maybe a smile? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll oh, be more than grateful. <laughs>
so you trace me here again. You could at least offer me a seat. Listen, Kayla. You cannot find the peace that you deserve by remaining silent always. What do you want from me? Why can't you just leave me alone? I know I can feel what you're going through. But trust me, I do understand. And all I want to do is help. I mean, what's wrong with that? Let me take you somewhere, okay? Your own timing. I'll be okay with that. A place where there's no sorrow, no pain. Where people like us go with a bleak heart. And we come out with the hope of glory. I wish that I can regain my sight so that I can see you. Amen. Amen. Don't you want to make a wish? I wish that your wish will be granted. That you will regain your sight. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You're right. I've never experienced such peace in my life. Thank you so much for bringing me here. You're welcome.
Has anybody ever told you your smile is beautiful? I mean, it's like simply scintillating. You know, whenever you smile, your face glows. Okay, you're pretty. You're beautiful, you know. And you have a beautiful smile, too. And, and I'm crazy about those dimples. I am. So you're flattering me. And I'm sure you're exaggerating it because I very much think you have seen better, sir. Maybe, but I'm not exaggerating. I think you are really, really beautiful. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Okay, what's the problem? Okay. You know, please leave me alone. Did I say something wrong? Okay, wh what is it? What's the problem? I really would want to be alone. Okay, you have to let go of this past of yours, okay? Just release it. Just don't let it hang around you every time. Please. You wouldn't understand. Because you don't know how it feels like to lose someone you really love. It is only when you have gone through it that you can really understand. You think when, when you are happy you become disloyal to your past? Hey. You are not in this alone, okay? You know what? Come, let me show you something, okay? Come. childhood friend. Now tell me, is this an age to die? Is this? But he's gone. Gone for good and gone forever. Listen, Kayla, you're not the only one with a broken heart. Nor are you the only one who has lost a companion. I have to, okay? I always go to bed with tears in my eyes. But when I wake up, I don't let those pains override me, no. Rather, I accept them as fate quietly. A friend who was prepared to die for me. Go all out for me. I thought our loneliness could, could meet. I thought I could depend on you. Maybe you don't have enough love. The pains of love, the pains of loving you. Full of peace, full of you. The agony I feel for losing you. So real. Kayla, I'll make you a promise, okay? I will never bother you. How you doing? Ken. Charles. Charles, tell me. Charles, tell me. How? How did it happen? He was brought here in a very bad condition. And, um, after being here for six months in coma, 
He's lost his senses. But that's okay. Um, he's fine. Um, after some time, he mentioned some few names. And uh, apparently your name came up. That's the reason for me inviting you here. Can I take him home? Sure. Um, for you all over the house. Here you are. What is it? What I wasn't supposed to see. I saw today. What are you talking about? What are you not supposed to see and where did you see it? Ken. Yeah? You not believe this. But today, I have seen myself dying. You're talking nonsense, Charlie. Charles, what do you mean? I found you, picked you from the hospital. You should be happy for each other. What are you talking about? What is the matter with you? I mean, found somebody I love, I want to get married to, I found you too. Show some excitement. Let's see something. I don't sit down here and feeling so lonely and come on, be happy for me at least. Charles, meet Kayla, my wife. Kayla, that's my friend I was talking about. How are you, Charles? Ken has told me a lot about you. You know, you should thank God that you, you had the opportunity to get a new life now. Come on, say something. Show some appreciation, come on. Is your friend okay? Yeah, he's fine. He'll be alright. You know, he's been through a lot, so... And now that he's found me...
Can you open the gate? Can you open the gate? Can you open the gate? CK Charles How can I help you? In my town a gentleman who had come to undertake a project used to stay there. Your face resembles his face. And I was just wondering if you might be that same person. His face? Couldn't have been me. Every voice makes a picture in my mind. And after hearing your voice, I don't know why, but I still see that gentleman's face. It's possible, but voices are very similar. Can I ask you a question? Sure. If you love a girl so much, and because of circumstances she would go away, but after some time, you'd realize that she's come back, but she's married, would you just look at the entire act, or would you accept her? Kayla, what's the point? When people die, they don't come back to life. I'm not talking about dying. I'm talking about departing. What difference would that make? If you have love in your heart for someone, and that love no longer exists, it's as good as dying. You're right. Excuse me. Hi. Can you tell me about yourself? About myself? What do you want to know about me? There was a man in my life that brought me so much happiness. He stood by me at all times, and even though I didn't have sight, he gave me sight. In him, I saw joy and happiness. And just when I had my sight, he disappeared. I'm so convinced that this person is you. You just said you were blind. How could you see it was me? Like I said, every voice makes a picture in my mind. I am just so sure it is you, so please just let me know. Was it wasn't me? It just 
couldn't have been me. Listen, Kayla, you're a married woman now. You're married to a person I call my brother, Ken, a very charming guy. I think you need to let bygones be bygones. Let the past be there. Forget it. It wouldn't help you. You need to not focus on your future. How many kids you want to have, how you can make your husband happy. Just let go of the past and look into the future. For me, I think this will work out better that way. What if I was this guy? What would you do? Get a divorce? Are you hiding from me? Hiding? Why would I be hiding anything from you? Since our engagement, you always have this gloomy picture. Are you okay? Yes. I mean, are you happy? I'm very happy. Don't lie to me. So why can't you even look me in the eye and tell me you're okay? I look at you. It's written all over you. I don't know what you're talking about. Because you're refusing to accept there's something wrong. Okay, are you sure you're fine? Yes. Okay. Let me feel that you're fine. Okay? I'm fine. Okay. Let me see you every time, okay? Okay. Oh, let's go inside. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Problem. Something terrible is happening in my life. Your life? Yeah. Oh, Daddy, can we go in? Please come inside. I really need to talk to you, Daddy. Sweetheart. I'm in doubt. Very much in doubt. Okay, is this possible? Dad, it is very possible that my doubt is correct. The voice I hear is that of CK. Kayla? CK is dead. And he's been dead for six months now. Why are you still hanging on to the past? Huh? Answer now. Your body, your mind, your soul must be holding on to the future. Think of the future. Prince is now your future. Look, sweetheart, don't forget, your wedding is coming up very soon. Dad, I cannot get married without confirming this. 
Dad, please don't look at me like I'm a mad person because I'm very sane. You have heard CK speak before, right? Of course. So you can recognize him when you see him? Yes. Dad, all I want you to do is to go with me and confirm this. Kayla, uh, are you all right? Dad. Dad. Okay, you're all right. Uh, so, where is he now? Dad, he's, he's in the other house with Ken. Dad, please, let's go, okay? It's a mystery, the life that we live, destiny is playing tricks on my mind. I believe in love, I believe true love will stand the test of time. Do you recognize him? Hmm. No. I've not seen that face before. No, 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 no. Daddy, please look at him very right well. I'm very sure I've not seen that face before. Daddy, are you sure? Absolutely. Very sure. Very sure. Can I? Until you tell me who you are. Walk away from me. Kayla, this position will complicate things between me and Ken. So please, please. Ken, okay. oh, it's us. There is something I want to talk to you about, and I don't expect you to say no. I want to leave the house. I want to leave this house. I just want to go somewhere, be alone, and think things through. Where do you plan on going? I don't know yet, but probably a guest house or something. I just want to be by myself. But you're alone here, aren't you? It's not the same thing, Ken. It's not the same thing. I just want to be by myself, think about restructuring my life, 
you know tell us i don't get you i mean i know you need to restructure that's why you are here i mean i thought you'd be asking of a car an office something something to keep you going go back to your tracks is the old one away no i haven't told him yet but i'll, I'll it's not a problem i'll call him and, and tell him about it i'll see yeah. you around when you're ready okay
of the circumstances I couldn't help it I've been hiding all along but there was nowhere to hide anymore so you were alive all this while and you didn't even tell me I was suffering the whole time and you just watched me there's no need to answer that question anymore is there a point you're getting married tomorrow well I won't get married whether you left or not I kept holding the cross that you left in my finger. I kept in my hand the cross that you left. I was living with the grief of your death. I regretted the day you died. I regretted losing you. And when you came back, you didn't even recognize me. And after all this, CK, you think I don't have a reason to ask you why? I was quiet. I was quiet when I came back. Because you were already engaged to my friend. My best friend, Ken. You already become Mrs. Panahini. What did you expect me to do? What did you expect me to do? By virtue of our custom, you were already married. So, you were sacrificing our love for the injustice destiny did, huh? You couldn't even consider my feelings. You didn't even ask me what I wanted. Who gave you that right? Fine. If you think I made the wrong decision, take my hand. Let's destroy Ken's happiness. Is that what you want? Come on, take my hand. Are you thinking twice? Kayla. Take my hand and let's leave, right now. Ken's friendship, his love, is holding us down. How can we destroy the castle of his dreams and build ours tomorrow? Doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. I'm not a selfish person, and I know you're not. If the shadow of our past falls on you and Ken. I don't see a good future. I just don't. I don't. <coughs> There's one thing 
I want you to promise me that you will not let Ken find out about you and I. Can you promise me that? Can you promise me that? I promise. If there is ever something I want you to do for me, that time is now. I want you to marry Ken. I want you to love him. I want you to have all the kids that he wants. If you care for me in the way you say you do, if you care about my happiness, <laughs> can you do that for me? Can you promise me that? I promise. Ken is a loving guy. He's a very, very caring person. He will love you. And that love, I'm confident, will help you forget about. Trust me. Just trust me. As you can see, I'm doing fine. That's not true. You are not doing fine. I mean, it's written all over you. Because if I know you too well, for one who is so in love, you wouldn't be home by now. What are you driving at? What I am driving at is that your darling color is busy reuniting with the old. One food you said couldn't do you any harm. And as I speak to you, she doesn't even care if you exist. I'm listening. Well, what you don't know is that this your friend, whom your darling killer has hooked up with, is none other than your dearest best friend, come back to life, Charles. I heard they usually hook up at their house. That's at Charles' house. You know, I come to wonder what really happens with both of them when your back is turned. That's rubbish, and you know that. Where did you learn that nonsense from? Oh, you make me laugh. Stop being silly, sweetheart. Fear. You were scared. You're wondering, oh, is it true that my darling Kelo is actually cheating on me with my best friend. And what is it they do? Sweetheart, your guess is damn right. She is surely cheating on you. For the last time, where did you learn that nonsense from? Or you think you can just come in here and blackmail me into getting you back? <laughs> Don't be stupid, darling. Don't be such a silly lad. You are very foolish not to see what is staring you in the face. They are taking you for a sucker. Open your eyes. 
Now, if you don't believe me, why don't you go over to your best friend's house? <laughs> then you would realize if I'm joking or not. Out. I'm already out. And as for me coming to take you back, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but I am not feeling it. I'm fine, I'm great. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, Doc, is it, is it possible to have a meeting with you? Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, late afternoon will be fine. Oh, okay, Doc. Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Okay, so Saturday then. Thank you for your time. Hi, Dad. Yeah, my ghost grace. Yeah, I'm kicking, I'm kicking. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Uh, yes, I was... <laughs> okay, okay, that's the way I called. Um, is it possible we could have a meeting on, on Saturday? Late after Saturday? You know, Doc's place, Dr. Sai's place. Oh, something short. Yes, yes, come with mom. Yes, come with her. Okay, then. Sorry, you. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. It's all right. Thank you. Bye. Charles, where are you going? Shall I do, I do, I do. How's everything? Fine, fine. Yeah, look, something came up. Uh, yeah, some business deal there. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, is it possible I can see you on Friday, uh, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Fine time, okay. Saturday, four-ish, late afternoon. Let's meet at Doc's place. <laughs> oh, something, you know, you will understand. You only get that, you know, okay? Don't be late, I beg you. I understand. All right, Joe. See ya. Now tell us why we are here. One moment, please. a joke or something. 
Are you out of your senses? Dad, stay out of this. Ken, for Christ's sake, he's your childhood friend. And I regret it. I regret the day I picked him out. I was under the impression that seeing me settled, he would be the most happiest man on earth. He came back into my life. Still the most priceless asset that I have. As childhood friends, I shared everything I have with you. But that was the greatest mistake of my life. I never knew that one day and steal my happiness. Charles, what's going on here? He has nothing to say. What has he to say? His evil plans are out. I remember the day I introduced Kayla to you. Now I know why. We were planning to steal her. But no. I know I'm married to her, yes. That her heart and soul belongs to you, and this will never happen. Stop it! You don't even know what this person you're accusing is doing for your relationship. Yes, it is true that your name is printed on our wedding card, but CK's name is printed in my heart. And even though I am wearing your ring, Every part of me, my body, mind, and soul yearns for CK. Ken, I'm really, really sorry. But I don't love you. I love CK. This person gave me sight. He held my hand and made me fall in love. This person you're accusing of being a traitor sacrificed his love for your happiness and friendship. He begged me to get married to you. And that's the reason to why I'm wedding you. No. I told you I'll make her speak. She didn't only speak, but she means every little word of it. <sighs> Kayla, I made you cry, so you'll be smiling forever. Charles? I'm proud of you. I am. 